But you also go by another name, which is your real name. My real name, correct. Which is Spencer Barrick. That's me. So if people want to find you on social media, Damon Dice is not does not exist. They it's have to just, go. Yeah. It's just Spencer Barrick, on, right? on social media, it's Spencer Barrick. If you want to find that triple, triple X stuff, that is under Damon Dice. Okay, so you do have a Damon Dice. Oh, well, I mean, if you Google it or go to If you to, Google it, but you, you don't have a Damon to, Dice social I don't, handle. I don't have a social handle, now. So why? Because you're one of the few people that, first of all, like has your real name out there. Correct. That's very rare. And then second of all, like literally goes by that name and then tags that to your adult stuff. So I kind of switched away from publishing or promoting my adult content mm-hmm. um, because I, I do do a lot of work in mainstream realms and with business. Mm-hmm. So there was a point in time a couple of years ago, um, I was working with a company and we were working with youth groups. Um, so I kind of, you know, but on my own and kind of pushing my business partners are like, you should, you know, shut down the Damon Dice socials mm-hmm. and just operate under your real name. Uh, so I made that that switch two years ago, actually, mm-hmm. in October. So it's mm-hmm. been two years that I've been Spencer on social. I, I did have the Damon Dice socials for a little bit mm-hmm. and then kind of, you know, squash those. Mm-hmm. Um, and also, uh, you know, something that I was kind of struggling with was that duality that I was living, being a performer and being myself. So it's right. like I had to, you know, I was controlling two people. I was running Damon Dice socials. I was running Spencer Barrick socials. So I was mm-hmm. literally managing two people. And it was mm-hmm. just kind of getting overwhelmed to a point where it was like, I need to pick or choose. I'm either Damon or I'm Spencer. So, yeah. you know, I made that decision kind of, you know, earlier to where it's like, it's working out for me now. Um, yeah. Some people do get confused with it. But uh, for my well-being and kind of my brand, uh, that's what I decided to move forward with. So And so obviously you don't mind like your mainstream persona um, being associated with your adult persona. No, I'm getting, uh, I'm getting more used to it. Um, so at first, uh, you know, I was kind of, it was kind of like I was leaving the secret life. Like mm-hmm. I was moonlighting as a porn star. I, yeah. When people ask me like what the dynamics like of who I am and what I do, I tell them I'm like Batman. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. like I'm, you know, Bruce Wayne during the day doing all the business stuff. And then I, you know, I'm Batman at night. Right. Bat- Batman's the porn star side. So, right. you know, that's the dynamic that I feel like I have. I'm mm-hmm. a big fan of Batman. So it's like, mm-hmm. you know, it's easy for people to relate to and kind of, you know, see what it's like. Um, and even with me on a, a personal level, um, you know, being in the adult industry, you get a lot of exposure and kind of people, you know, are digging into your life and knowing who you are. And, you know, I was really becoming Damon Dice. Like mm-hmm. I was becoming that alter ego mm-hmm. and I was kind of losing myself. Mm-hmm. Um, so it was, you know, my conscious decision and my choice to more or less save myself and not become that person, not become that alter ego. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, cause when you become someone else, it's more or less an ego of, you know, who you want to be or who you want people to perceive you to be. Right. So, you know, it was, it was fun and it's, it's still kind of fun to have that, you know, that persona, but you know, to be me as a person, like that's not who I am. Yeah. So, you know, being Damon Dice and being an adult performer is just, you know, a small part of who I am. So right. I didn't want something that's 10% of me to, you know, be who I am, you know, mm-hmm. publicly. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it's, um, it, I, I know what you mean. And a lot of people really like, you know, do draw a hard line separating the two and they get very upset when like their real name is exposed um, yep. online, which can happen to anybody. Basically, it's really easy for people to find out your real name. Yeah. And at the end of the day, like, Everyone does like any adult performer, their real name is out there. Yeah. You just Google what is this person's real name, yeah. you're gonna find it. Yeah. So I mean it's not that protected. Yeah. Um at the end of the day, like people are gonna find out if they mm-hmm. wanna find out. So I was like, you know, I'm just gonna be upfront with it and mm-hmm. kinda like, all right, just get it out of the way. I think it's also harder for women too, because women are more prone to like stalkers yes. and people very aggressive attacks from, you know, sexually frustrated men with all kinds of bizarre hang ups. So I can understand like you know, women being particularly protective definitely over their identity. And, and I've seen that, um, you know, I have a little bit of an advantage with that being a male performer. Mm-hmm. Like I, like you said, I don't have the stalkers. I don't have people, you know, that are harassing me per se. Um, so I am more protected on that. And the things I, I feel terrible for the girls that, you know, that they do have to deal with that. And yeah. A lot of my friends, you know, they live that life of, you know, fear and, you know, just kind of that, you know, people reaching out to them and, you know, just at a high level. Contacting their families. Yeah. Because yeah, I mean, these crazy. girls, you know, once you have millions of followers and you're world renowned, you yeah. know, you're going to have people from around the world yeah. trying to contact you, trying yeah. to find your family, trying to find your backstory. Yeah. Um, you know, at least with my position, who I am, um, and, and being a male in the industry, I can kind of 
fly, I can fly a little more under the radar yeah. and be like, you know, less out there. Yeah. Um, so it is, you know, kind of that's, you know, it shows the difference of, you know, how the adult industry is and, you know, between the male and female dynamics with people in the industry. So I, I see both sides of it. Um, and I, I feel for the females that, you know, have to deal with that stuff. Do you think also too, as a man, it's easier for you to, you know, be a star and an entrepreneur at the same time. And people don't really like, like the star part isn't so important to people. Like they don't, you don't face as much stigma. You know what I'm saying? It, it definitely is. And again, I see that I'm very well aware of that. Um, you know, the females, my counterparts in the industry, you know, they're the stars. They're the mm-hmm. ones that have these global followings yeah. and they are that person. So right. once they become that porn star, there's no going back. You can't go be going back to your, who you are. Originally. Right. Um, and you know, with myself, you know, the males, the focus generally isn't on the guys. We're mm-hmm. kind of just secondary. We're props to make yeah. the girls look good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So they're actually true. like, what's your job? I'm like, I'm there to make the girl look good. Like, yeah. I'm just, you know, I'm just there. I'm yeah. a piece of meat. So, <laughs> you know, it's, uh, I'm trying to, you know, the, the shift is happening where, you know, more of the focus is somewhat on the guys. Mm-hmm. Um, so working on some projects that kind of shift that focus. Um, but again, uh, you know, we're not in the spotlight as porn stars. It's, mm-hmm. it's the females industry that are really, you know, uh, the backbone of the industry per se. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, I, I definitely see that and it's, you know, it's a different dynamic yeah. and uh, not ignorant to it. I'm very well aware of it. I, yeah. I, God, I give the girls a lot of credit for, you know, being able to handle that. Yeah. Cause they, again, get so much outreach and people just like, you know, bombarding them. I can live somewhat, you know, a normal life without mm-hmm. being bombarded with questions and, you know, potential threats. It's Mm -hmm. just like, I don't live that side of things. So it's, you know, I see it, but it's not part of. Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening to bonus Q and A's, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered. And while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.